Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode here on the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Today we have the elimination race of the first round of the playoffs where four drivers will be out after today. And coming into it, Kozlowski's out by 4.6 for Kyle Busch. Cindric a little bit further out and Bubba Wallace in a must-win scenario going into this weekend. I would not be shocked if we saw both Kyle Busch and Brad Kozlowski work their way in uh but it's not going to be easy but Corey LaJoy the last driver in coming into this uh race here in Bristol I think he's going to have a difficult time advancing here and now especially uh, I think about right off the top of my head RFK is Brad Kozlowski Brad Kozlowski's been uh you know strong at a track like Bristol that whole organization very strong at a track like Bristol we've seen Chris Buescher succeed here uh short tracks kind of their wheelhouse this season as well so it's going to be interesting to watch how that uh, team gets on, and, and specifically uh, Brad Kozlowski. For us, uh, it's been, you know, an up-and-down start to the playoffs. No top 10s yet, but it's only two races in. Bristol, a good opportunity to uh, kind of get our mojo, uh, I guess you could say, a little bit, get our momentum back going here. You can see our practice times, actually. Uh, those two checkmark uh, laps were ones where we ran the top versus running the bottom. Uh, we're going to roll through into qualifying now here from Bristol with a goal of a 16.014 uh, as we cross the stripe here. We're going to run the top both uh, corners here to try and maximize our starting position here. Now cruise it down to the uh, kind of middle part of the track in the late part of the corner and then of course the exit high again so you jump up go back down jump back up to the outside wall just don't go that high into the outside wall we still beat the goal time with the 15 927 uh but for the bass pro shops night race here from bristol it will be p12 uh as it will be starting row six on the outside ty gibbs on pole Corey lajoy in second might prove me wrong here tonight uh, as Kozlowski starts P7, you see the rest of the qualifying order. I don't know where William Byron's number went, but he starts P18. Uh, as you see the rest from 30th down through 40th now. Uh, truck Series were in Bristol this weekend as well. We don't have an Xfinity race to show for this one, but uh, Truck Series, it was Frankie Munitz actually uh, who was able to pick up the victories. You see the rest of the finishing order there. SVG, Shane Van Gisbergen in P13. And speaking on that, in the pre-show... Uh, uh, there is a retirement announcement on the way, so stay tuned. Let's take a listen. We're coming to you live from Bristol for the first elimination race of the playoffs. We've got breaking news into tonight's race. Michael McDowell will be retiring and hanging up the helmet at the end of the season. A road racer um, turned NASCAR driver many years ago, a Daytona 500 win under his belt a few years ago. We'll miss Michael on the grid next year. Let's not forget the elimination race we have here tonight. Big names below the line, Bush, Wallace, and Keselowski, all need to find a way into the round of 12 here in Bristol. All right, boys, uh, it's been a strong first few races considering the situation, so let's just keep it up here today. Yep, tonight won't be easy, but just keep after it. You heard the news in the pre-show. Michael McDowell announces retirement here at the season's end, so someone will have to replace him in the 34. But yeah, McDowell calling it a career at the end of season two here in this NASCAR Heat 5 career mode now as we get ready to roll. Hamlin's been struggling this weekend. Larson looks a bit slow as well, and Larson struggled uh, last episode there in Kansas when Tyler Reddick was able to pick up the victory. Uh, so Larson, Reddick, our two winners of the career mode playoff so far. We're back underway for the racing here in Bristol now to kick off round number one elimination race at Bristol Motor Speedway here as we go through one and two. Logano up by inside as we head down the short back straightaway. Of course, only uh, 15, 16 second lap times when you run around this racetrack. We're right to the back bumper of that Bush Light machine of Ross Chastain. Four drivers will be eliminated tonight. Ty Gibbs leads the way through one and two. Gibbs still seeking that first win. He looks strong last episode. Didn't quite have enough, but a strong top three, top five car at least. Uh, and it looks like he's going to carry that momentum here with, uh, with another strong car in that number 54 Monster Energy Toyota Ford Joe Gibbs racing Suarez up there in the mix he's actually a, uh, on the inside of the 17 of Busher for second place right now uh, followed by Brad Kozlowski who's quickly moved up into third is LaJoy who may have qualified second looking good coming into this uh, elimination race is quickly dropping uh, 
down the order and he is not quick that 27 very very slow right off the bat and you can see it because he was stacking up uh, a couple lanes of cars here now 30 laps in stage one not a lot of time uh, for things to develop here LaJoy maybe desperately really trying to hang on to stage points but right now it's not looking promising for that number 27 here as we just continue on and I was being patient I understood our situation we are you know going to make it into the next round no matter what happens tonight as I go around the outside though of Chastain Suarez now actually out in front he passed uh, the 17 for second and he passed the 54 for the lead here going around the outside of Larson everyone's just really stacked up right now not looking good here however uh, you know we continue to try and make some forward progress Bristol is a track where the start of the run I'm not great and then the middle of the run I'm really good and then the tail end of the run we kind of go back to where we are at the beginning of the run where we're not great again so uh, it's just kind of the Bristol way for me here in NASCAR Heat 5 uh, but new leader Brian Kozlowski out in front but we were hitting that middle part of the run now and we were starting to move forward now what saves us on the long run compared to the short run is that we have lap traffic in the long run uh, that slows up everybody so it gives me a fighting chance still uh, so yeah we, we just hope that there's no short runs at the end of this race uh, without lap traffic to determine who's going to be able to go forward. Uh, speaking of going forward, both Kyle Busch and Bubba Wallace, Wallace in the 23 in a must-win scenario if he wants to get into the next round. Uh, not looking good for him here today, but he's still at least having a top 10 run. Uh, however, you can see Corey LaJoy's teammate Carson Hosevar kind of holding up some cars as well, just like LaJoy was, just not as slow. Uh, Hosevar has had some uh, decent pace here as the season's gone on. He's had his ups and downs as a Cup Series rookie fighting for Rookie of the Year uh, again the four of Josh Berry after contact there with the 23 he saves it thankfully now but we continue on uh, and now we would start to put the fight to host of our here but you can see struggles uh, with the car starting to uh, slip and slide around a little bit now but we just continue to try and uh, commit now to the outside now that it's it's available here and we would clear the 26 we would move up into p10 Kozlowski continues to lead the way still looking for that first win with Roush Fenway Kozlowski racing he's been close but he just hasn't been able to seal the deal is tonight finally the first night where he does it uh, in a position where he could certainly use the race victory and no matter what what a turnaround for our Roush Fenway Kozlowski racing in season one of the career mode both cars missed the playoffs this season Chris Buescher multiple wins uh, and both cars in the playoffs both performing well looking good tonight both up in the top three lap traffic in these closing laps of the stage did play a factor but I wasn't really able to capitalize on it due to the struggles uh, with the hand of this car so Kozlowski uh, he had gotten backed up through traffic but not enough to lose the lead he will lead the way out of four Kozlowski wins stage one and for the first time in the playoffs we're going to get stage points crossing the line p9 two stage points on the board right there uh, overall pretty happy uh, with how the car is driving there so Alex Bowman in p10 and shout out to uh, another part-time driver Noah Gregson p11 a solid run there uh, we will see a new part-time driver and has got uh, somebody uh, from the Xfinity series that they will be fielding uh, for one of the races uh, in the upcoming round of 12. So Kozlowski wins the stage. Everybody's putting here for four tires. Uh, we're going to fill it up on Fila Hamlin down in 29th, but he stays the last car on the lead lap here. Now we gain two spots. A bunch of drivers gain positions here. Eight spots gained, six spots gained, nine for Larson gained. How about Larson? A huge improvement in the pit lane. We're back underway here from Bristol as Ty Gibbs is back out in front. Kozlowski lost the lead to him in the pits. 28 laps of racing, a bit of an awkward entrance there into turn number one. We'll exit turn two side by side with Ross the Boss Chastain, one of the favorites, of course, in the playoffs, I would say this season. Kind of the favorites I'm looking at right Right now in the playoffs are Kyle Larson, Ross Chastain, Chase Elliott as kind of like the, the main three that I've been watching. And then after that, I, I don't really know if there's a fourth. Christopher Bell got a little bit hot in the summer, uh, but maybe, I mean, right now based off the first round, I really don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised, I mean, if Kyle Busch can get through into the next round, if he would continue on, but that's the problem for Kyle Busch is he's got to make it through into that next round, and he's only a few points below the cut line, but I don't think it's going to be that easy to get in because, keep in mind, he's fighting with Kozlowski because he's two positions out of the next round uh, on Corey LaJoy, and Kozlowski is that one car ahead of him, so I think it's going to be a bit of a difficult task for Kyle Busch to get in as Kozlowski is having a very good run so far. Uh, as you 
can see by lap 9 coming to 10, we had opened up a huge gap to P7 on back as they were all fighting it out. Ty Gibbs had driven away uh, from the field here now as we are just trying to close in. As Smoke pouring out in front there, that's Daniel Suarez. Suarez runs P2 and now he's going to tumble down the order. We're going to slice through. Thank you very much. We don't lift. We take this car up into P3, but Suarez, his season that has been miserable. The news, of course, of Trackhouse dropping him at the season's end uh, for Kyle Busch. It's just not the season Suarez would like and finally having a, a season highlight day or night and it still manages to go wrong. Shades of what happened to Alex Bowman last episode when we thought Bowman had a car capable of winning. He had a tire go down late in that race and of course had to rally back in the closing laps. We still have plenty of silly season news. We had the McDowell announcement today with the retirement, but Daniel Suarez, what's his future look like? We're going to find that out very soon. Uh, Trankhouse as well uh, has a, a big piece of news I'm hearing on the way in the round of 12 that we're going to hear about uh, that involves both the Cup Series program, but as well maybe uh, venturing into the Xfinity Series. So stay tuned on that. Late in Stage 2, lap traffic passing Chris Busch, who decided, you know what, the best way uh, around lap traffic is to ride directly behind them uh, so we're able to capitalize on that move back up into third place as Elliott drives off in the distance up into second place Gibbs though absolutely dominating the second stage getting through that lap traffic here in these closing lap seven laps to go on the stage we'll go up the inside here of Eric Almarola in the number 21 I'm also hearing this might be the final season we see Eric Almarola behind the wheel of the number 21 and if that is the case who would go into the number 21 car so there's a lot of kind of midfield and and back marker teams that have uh, a lot of changes coming here going into next season and I'm also hearing potentially one more change of a team switching from Chevrolet to Toyota uh, so stay tuned on that one as well here in this closing moment so of stage number two Gibbs continues to lead Elliott second will jump up to the outside of the 78 which would prove to be an error because now we are going to have to get stuck behind the 42 of John Hunter Nemechek who's having a miserable night here and, and that that's going to be a problem here we're stuck directly behind him here now as he slides there a bit of contact from myself Busher up my inside he's bringing the boss man of Keselowski uh, with them as we approach the final lap trying to force a three wide but trying to make sure we avoid contact here I'm getting pretty fed up with the 42 at this point so I'm going to give him a shot to the bumper as they continue three wide on the exit of turn two so we're going to drop down to p5 and i realized at this point i couldn't gain anything back so i just cruise it to the end ty gibbs wins stage number two elliott second busher third kozlowski fourth myself in p5 here now which uh you know the situation with colleague that we're in i'm pretty happy with p5 how about austin Sindrick in p6 Five points. Don't write him off yet of advancing into the next round. Chastain, Almendinger, Truex, Christopher Bell, the rest of the top ten there. Christopher Bell having a solid night, kind of solidifying uh, his, uh, you know, attempt to get into that round of 12 after the issues uh, last episode when he had that tire go down in that big crash. So uh, Kyle Busch, no stage points, while Kozlowski opens up the gap to him. So right now, it's looking like Kozlowski is going to get into the round of 12 and LaJoy is going to be out and Kyle Busch is going to be out as well with Cindric and Bubba Wallace. We're back underway. It's one stage to determine exactly that tier now. As we dive down into turn one, this has certainly been our best run of this first round of the playoffs so far. Can we bring home a top 10 though? Uh, that, that's the question. In, in the next round of the playoffs, look really, really interesting uh, and we have Iowa, we have Texas, and then we have the Charlotte Roval. So, going to be really interesting when we get there uh, and see how that plays out, of course, now uh, as we continue on. Ty Gibbs out in front, but look at this. They're going to go three wide, just about Elliott trying to go in the middle. Not going to happen. Kozlowski passes his teammate of the 17. Just about they'll continue side by side through one and two. Almendinger behind me in P6 having a great run here. The typical Almendinger, you know, qualifies really bad, but puts together a very solid and and competitive race effort here. Uh, lap 68 coming to 69, and it's Kozlowski up the inside now of the 54. So to the lead, Gibbs fading backwards, and Gibbs would continue to drop back. He would get passed by Elliott, and he would get passed by Busher because he was committed to, for whatever reason, uh, just running the outside, which is the lane I want, so that was not what I wanted to see. Omending and my teammates started fading backwards, and it was Truex and uh, Chastain that would find a way past him. But a new leader come lap 75, Chase Elliott had gotten past the six car and had driven away. And now we are right in the thick of this battle with the 17 and the 54 and closing in on the six of Keselowski as well. And this is a battle that would rage on because for whatever reason, the 54 
24 and the 17 both just kind of wanted to take turns you know passing each other then going up to the outside immediately after passing them uh, so then they would lose a spot again it was really silly to watch uh, from my vantage point here and you can see it happening uh, so Gibbs would but again, drop down to P4, and I would try to get into the mix, but I was really struggling when I would try to go down to the inside and pass these guys. Fortunately, lap traffic again plays their role, but it's not going to matter because the caution is going to fly, and it's actually going to be for my teammate of AJ Omendinger. We're going to come in and take a splash of fuel, four tires, no adjustments, but reason for the caution, uh, it's going to be Omendinger losing a tire on the exit of turn two. You see it right there, crashing uh, driver's side door into the outside while Kyle Larson gets a piece of it. Maybe Christopher Bell uh, as well here as the caution flies. Logano as well and Austin Dillon all get a little bit of it. We gain one spot in the pit lane. Larson, Hamlin, four and eight spots gaining LaJoy up to the top ten. Don't write him off totally quite yet, uh, but it's going to be hard to get in, especially when you see who's leading. Brad Kislowski on the run down into turn one. Elliot on the front row, second place, and then Kislowski's employee and teammate on the inside of myself here in third. That's Chris Busher. We were able to overtake Ty Gibbs in the pit lane. Elliot a slow entry to turn three, really put me right on his right rear, and that slowed up not only him, but it slowed up myself as well. Uh, as we dive down in behind Ty Gibbs trying to follow him through but I just cannot get up and off the corner quite like uh, some of these other guys can on these restarts on four fresh tires as well on the inside of the Napa Auto Parts machine not going to quite happen there Elliot stays clear who jumps down in front of us with 38 laps to go 38 laps not a lot of racing at Bristol he would now pass the 54 uh, of Gibbs and try to get up to the back of this battle for the lead Busher and Kozlowski side by side for the front two positions it's kind of like we're the best five cars right here together uh, because all five of us just continue to gap the cars behind I was all for it. Uh, just let it stay green and, you know, we'll deal with some lab traffic and who knows, maybe we'll have an opportunity uh, to fight for a victory with the lab traffic assistance. But Busher to the lead. Elliot to second. Kozlowski drops back to third with pressure from Gibbs who looks up his inside. And, and Kozlowski unfortunately is right where I want to be. Uh, I cannot really go forward if I can't run the outside here. And they would do what Busher and Gibbs did earlier. This little back and forth pass this guy jump to the outside, let the guy pass me back, and then he'll go to the outside and I'll pass him back. It was so silly, uh, and I would get stuck behind this again, and you can see there goes Gibbs up the inside again. He'll pass Kozlowski, so uh, now I'm really trying to find a way around this six car, but you're going to see I try to run the outside, and he's going to run the exact lane that I like to run, so I try to switch down to the bottom here, and it's all about maybe trying to get alongside enough to do a, a slide job maybe on Kozlowski. That might be our only opportunity, because again, he just continues to cover my line. He does not want to give up track position knowing the current situation that he's in with the playoffs. I guess there's a little bit of contact there on the exit of turn four, though. That's going to send Kozlowski sliding. I'm going to back it down. I am not going to pass Kozlowski in his current situation in that fashion. If it's going to be done, it's going to be clean. No contact. So I decided to just back it down, let him retain his position uh, in P4, and we would continue on and try to fight again here. Lab 102, a side-by-side -side with the 6, the 17 of Busher leads over Elliott. Wheel to wheel we're going to go for the slide job right here into turn three. A huge send, but Kozlowski switches back. He looks to the inside as he's not going to give this one up easy. And we come through now into turn three, lap 103, right up to the outside wall. And Kozlowski again tries to get clear. We fight back to the outside. Not quite clear yet now as we continue to just drag this fight on uh, really for as long as possible. But it was done there uh, until lap traffic would start to play a role again. And we're right to the back of the six. But the caution is going to fly in moments before that happened the nine of chase elliott was able to take the lead in the lap traffic nobody's going to pit of course here at this point we're all going to stay out and get ready to go back green kyle bush into the top 10 but the way kazowski's running uh and uh everybody else is just not going to be enough bush is probably going to be eliminated by a five or so points and he would move on if it wasn't for the mechanical failure in the first race of the playoffs from Darlington Chase Elliott a terrible start from P1 Busher takes the lead he jumps down to the inside a big shot to the back of the 54 he just did not anticipate that check up he slides he saves it he's going back and forth left and right up the inside of the 24 things getting chaotic here and the last opportunity for some drivers to make it in to the battle 12 how about Elliott back to the lead here 
here in Bristol with 14 to go up the inside of that Raptor machine, but he stays clear. Byron, where in the world did Byron come from? As I actually catch the outside wall there on the exit of turn two, we continue side by side with that one of Ross Chastain now. He's back into the mix now. Kyle Busch just behind, running in that ninth position in these closing laps. Elliott has already driven away. I mean, just a few moments ago, he passed the 17 as they continue to fight for second place. Good luck beating Chase Elliott now. If it stays green, it's going to be very hard for anybody to run down that Napa Auto Parts machine as I'm trying to continue to make this outside work to my advantage there. Byron slides up in front of us there. He's, he's trying to fight the 54 of Gibbs. A shot to the back of the 24. He actually is going to stomp on my nose again because Chastain went up the inside. So Chastain goes through. Byron slides. Saves a good save there from the 24. We slip through on the inside there that was just a weird moment between myself the 24 and the one all collectively together right there as we're back into the outside while we continue to struggle late in this race bush up the inside now as he's trying to complete the pass and, and get as many points as he possibly can as we head down into turn three lap 118 under 10 laps to go here from bristol motor speedway in the first round elimination race who's going to make it into the round of 12 and it looks like from this point on as a caution flies that it's going to be LaJoy, Bush, Cindric, and Bubba Wallace out. Bubba runs P11 right now. Cindric in the top 15 uh, as well as you see the rest of the order there. And this is going to force uh, a late race restart here from Bristol. It's only going to be, I don't think, two laps. I'm thinking it's going to be three laps of racing actually here now. So not overtime, not even a green-white checkered. Elliott, Busher, the front row, Kozlowski, Truex, third and fourth. We're back underway here from Bristol in the rear end. Just totally kicks out from under us now. We save it, we collect it, but what in the world was that? As we continue into turn one, we collect everything, but we're down to P20 in the top 10 dream for the first round of the playoffs is over. We're gonna go all three playoff races so far without a top 10. I'm slipping and sliding everywhere here. All of of a sudden, Elliott leads with two to go. I'm three wide in the middle between Hamlin and the rookie of Carson Hosevar. Now, here comes Corey LaJoy trying to keep his playoff hopes alive up my inside. I'm in an Andretti global sandwich. At least we're in a sport that welcomes Andretti with open arms, unlike Formula One. As we continue to try and force the issue, coming to the final lap here in Bristol. What a letdown now as Elliott leads the way into turn one and two. Kazowski's right there with him, but it's not going to be enough. I don't think we're still three wide. Bellini on the inside and Chase. Elliott, sure enough, will come through to get win number six on the season. His first of the playoffs with three wide to the line, sliding. We beat Hosevar for 22nd. My goodness, what a, a finish. What a unfortunate ending there for us, honestly. Uh, frustrated with how that ended. How about Bubba Wallace? Somehow he squeezed through uh, past all that drama into the top 10. Uh, but yeah, just it wasn't meant to be here today in Bristol. Ending, ending up outside the top 20. That's the story of our first round of the playoffs. There's the grid. Bush misses it by three. Bell just barely makes it. LaJoy out by 11. Cindric out by 15. Bubba Wallace, who was in a must win, uh, gains points, but still 35 points out. So... How does that make the new grid look? Well, that's what it looks like. Elliott, 29 to the good. We're 20 to the good behind Larson, but the four drivers out. Kozlowski out by 10. Uh, the winner from Kansas, Reddick, just out as well. Logano and Hamlin as well out uh, to join those two drivers. Iowa, Texas, and Charlotte Roval. This is going to be an interesting round testing everybody. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, we can find some more pace. I'll see you guys in the next one in Iowa. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.